Early February of 2022, Bay Area Rapid Transit officials cut a ceremonial toilet paper in front of the bathrooms at Powell Station in San Francisco. The reason? These bathrooms had been closed for a little over 20 years and were finally being reopened. Why did it take so long? Let's find out. The answer, at least initially, is actually 9-11. According to BART, the United States Department of Homeland Security recommended BART close their underground restrooms as part of the many security measures added to the country to prevent terrorist attacks. The fear was that the stall could be a discreet location to prepare a bomb, or to hide one without anyone noticing. So following the DHS recommendation, BART closed their underground restrooms in 2001. Restrooms and elevated stations remained open. This choice was defended even into the next decade. BART spokesperson at the time, Linton Johnson, defended the closures when asked, stating that there are still terrorists trying to kill people. 9-11 would not be the only safety risk for BART, though. In a hearing with the DHS, BART also cited Al-Qaeda's bombings of the Madrid commuter rail in 2004, as well as the suicide bombings of the London Underground in 2005, and the shootings at the Chhatrapati Shivaji station in Mumbai in 2008. There are also, however, reasons beyond just national security. When asked at one point if BART would ever reopen the restrooms, BART Public Information Officer Linda Sullivan said it was unlikely unless it made it into BART's budget as a line item, implying that the cost of reopening was beyond what BART was willing to spend on at the time. As early as 2015, BART Director Robert Raburn looked to have the restrooms reopened. Other BART staff, though, including the BART Police Chief, pushed back. In a meeting that same year to discuss potential reopening, different members of BART's leadership showed opposition. Board President Thomas Blalock did reference national security, asking, has sarin gotten less deadly? Referencing the Om Shinrikyo sarin gas attacks on the Tokyo Metro back in 1995. Other leadership gave reasons more relating to a general distaste of the public facilities. Director Zachary Mallet noted that he personally made every effort to avoid public restrooms. Director Joel Keller said that he didn't see a need for bathrooms. Anne had gone on record earlier that month complaining about general filth and drug use in the restrooms. In the end, they voted against reopening. A few years ago, I asked the question of our, can't we reopen all the underground restrooms? The answer I got was no, and I didn't give up. In the following years, BART's board of directors would change and evolve with elections. 9-11 was further in the past, and the fear of terrorism was outweighed by the resulting cleanliness issues of people not having public bathrooms, since, well, people still need to go. Under different leadership, the process to reopen the restrooms started in May of 2021 almost 20 years after their initial closure. In October, renovation work began since the restrooms had not been maintained during that time and needed repairs, as well as upgrades for modern ADA compliance. And a few months later in February, we're back to the beginning, the reopening of the Powell Station restrooms. BART made it a big public event since it has been an absurdly long time but also to get the public to notice, since after 20 years, everyone just got used to there being no restrooms. Later that month, 19th Street Oakland Station also saw its restrooms reopened. The current plan has the underground restrooms progressively reopening until completion in 2026, which is long, but okay. Is there a takeaway to this? I could say post 9-11 paranoia created security theater and out of touch leadership leads to bad public services, but that's not new. So maybe there is no major lesson. 
But next time you're at Powell Station and need to go, enjoy the new toilet.